Yeah, I don't get the uh, the whole drama about the Epic Game Store. Now, I understand that why people are mad. Fully, fully understand that. But here's the thing. Even though what Epic's doing is sort of douchebaggy, they are actually competing. They're actually doing what you're supposed to be doing. Whereas some corporations, a lot of corporations actually don't. They just send out their jackbooted lawyers to fight their competitors rather than actually competing the way they're supposed to. Epic's actually competing. They're using their money to provide a better service. Now, the you know the Epic Store may not have the most features. They may compared to Steam, it's pretty primitive. But they are giving developers a better you know cut of the revenue more than what Steam offers. That's how it should work. That's how competition should work. And I can understand, you know, even though I don't understand why there's so much drama over it, I can understand why people are mad because of the whole timed exclusivity thing on the Epic Store. One thing to understand here is this on PC, PC's greatest strength, and this is the strength that will always be PC's greatest strength. No matter what consoles come out, this will always be the one thing that makes PC better than any console. We have unlimited freedom of choice as to where we can get our games. We are not locked into one ecosystem. You're on the Nintendo Switch, you can only get games through the Nintendo Store or you know, you, you, you can buy your games from other retail stores or whatever. But when you install them, you get your update only from one source. Same thing with the Xbox, only through Xbox Live. PlayStation, PlayStation Network, you can only get stuff through that. On uh, iOS, on the iPhone or iPad, only through the App Store. The Apple App Store. Um, Android's a little different. There is more than one marketplace, and you can sideload those apps, and you can get apps from Baidu or from Amazon's App Store or from Google Play Store. So Android's a little more like PC that way. On PC, we can get our apps, our games from multiple sources. We can get our games from Epic, we can get our games from Steam, we can get our games from good old games, we can get our games from <coughs> Origin, uh, we can get them from, I think they're still around, direct to drive Amazon. That is the greatest strength of the PC platform, not just our graphics, not just the fact that we'll always be ahead of consoles, even even these newest consoles that are coming out, ones that are supposed to have ray tracing and everything, PCs will always be ahead of them, because our technology is evolving faster than the consoles will. By the time they come out, by the time the next gen consoles come out, CPU and graphics technology will have advanced at least another generation or two by the time the next Xbox and, and PlayStation 5 comes out. And by the time those consoles reach end of life, we'll have had several generations worth of new PC hardware come out. So PCs in the technical side will always be ahead. But the one thing that really makes our platform the best is our freedom of choice. We are not locked into one specific ecosystem. There have been attempts to lock us into a specific ecosystem, <coughs> Microsoft Store, but uh, 
those have failed. Of those are, that is our greatest strength. We're not locked into just getting games from one source. We can we can go to a web page for you know a, an MMO and download the client and install it. We don't have to go through one of these other services like Steam or whatever. You can just grab the game from directly from them. We're not limited. We're not restricted. We're not blocked from stuff. Microsoft does not get the right to approve what games can and cannot be used on Windows. Same with Ubuntu um, or other Linux distros. They don't have a say as to what games can and cannot be used on our system. So we can play anything. We're not restricted. There is no, there is no uh, rules that say we can't have, you know, Arog games. You know, basically adult-rated games. There's nothing that says we can't have that. There's nothing that says we can't have shooters or you know violent video games or 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 anything. There's nothing like Xbox live used to or I, I think they might still ban you if you say certain words in voice chat PC not a problem most people use discord discord's not gonna ban people for for saying fuck or or anything like that while you're playing a game and I've said that frequently in voice chat on Steam. They don't care. Oh what's the big deal? I can I can I can understand why people are angry because there are some people that do prefer Steam over other platforms. Because Steam face it, Steam has the majority of the market share. They have had, you know, the best success and, and people just love Valve. But also at the same time, you are creating drama over something that is our greatest strength. That is PC gaming's greatest strength. And that is our unlimited freedom of choice of where we can get our games, where we can get our applications, what, what we can do with our platform. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. You know, how Epic is competing, they are a little douchebaggy when it comes to that. They're they're using all that Fortnite money in order to, you know, get companies to sign on exclusivity deals with them. And Valve has this um, clause in their um in their contract agreement where you have to if you if you begin to offer the game on their service you have to deliver uh, so they may start enforcing that that's actually been there for some time and they may actually enforce that in their terms of service for the people up that upload games that way uh, like the games that became Epic Store exclusives, but were originally pre-orderable on Steam. S switching sides like that technically breaks that terms of service, and Valve would be completely within their rights to send in the lawyers and say, "No, you can't do that." Say, "No, you've you your agreement with Epic." violates our terms of service you've got to release your game on our platform because that's where you started and then you pulled out no you can't do that you agreed to the terms of service you have to launch your game on our platform so they're to they're totally within their right to do that and you know valve has a lot of money too just like epic 
Valve uh, needs to step up to the plate. They need to give the developers a bigger cut of the revenue. Become a little more competitive. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to actually compete. You, you, you compete with your services and, and what you can offer. You don't compete with your lawyers or or threatening com your competition. You, you threaten your competition by offering something better. You don't threaten your competition by trying to destroy them legally legally or or through legal loopholes or or just through civil cases or just trying to convince a judge to side in your side in your direction. You're supposed to compete fairly. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the whole thing. As I said, our freedom of choice, where we can get our games, that is gaming's greatest strength. And the PC gaming's greatest strength will always be better than consoles because of that. I've been Mike, the Zorch. See you guys later. Help make Zort Central great again by visiting the Gamers Bay Store where you can find retro games, movies, and more. Also check out the Gamers Bay community on MeWe. MeWe is the only social media network that takes your privacy as seriously as you do. Links are in the video description.